August and September on average have been the worst months ever. But let me show you this. Bam! Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi, coming to you guys from Spain. Can you hear the sound? That's the sound of Spain. Those crickets, that's Spain, guys. In today's video, I have an amazing chart that will show you exactly what happened in the last August and September, but also what's going to happen after. I also have some other cruel charts. Yes, talking about the news, and yes, jumping into an inspirational quote uh, to make a short but powerful video today here from Spain, where it's bloody hot. Let's jump into that first part now. Guys, historically, August and September, like you can see on this table, bam, over here, you can see that August and September have always been bad months. Yes, from the 15 months of August, 10 were negative, 4 were positive, and the last one now is going to be closing. So let's see what that turns out. But on average, August has been a minus 3% in average, guys. Now September, to prepare you for the next month, same thing. September on average in the last 14 years, 10 months negative, 10 months, 4 months positive. So if you look back historically, August and September are not the best months for Bitcoin. On average, September had a minus 6.9%, minus 7% average negative in September. So yes, we can be freaking out about August and September, but if we look in history, we can see that August and September were always bad. Take a look at October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June, July. All of these months, especially after the halving years, are very positive. On average, huge amounts of profits. Mostly October, November, December are the biggest months of profits. So be prepared for this. Now you know, August and September, that's the moment to accumulate Bitcoin. These are the dip months. Accumulate a shitload of Bitcoin. It's a summer sale. Buy in August, buy in September, and then ride that beautiful bull run October, November, December, and then all the way into 2025, a new all time high of this bull market, as the bull market top will be in 2025. And the next one will be in 2029. So be prepared to buy back at the bottom in 2026, 7. That's how the four year cycle works. But if you look in history, August, September, we're always bad. So don't freak out, zoom out, look at those numbers, understand the numbers, and start to buy these dips. Stop crying, start buying. Now let's quickly jump into charts to show some more charts to show you what is happening to Bitcoin today. The first chart for today, guys, is of course the four hour chart, like you're used. And we can see buy signal, sell signal, another buy signal, another sell signal. Now, again, a buy signal, but there is no candle closing above the yellow stepping line yet. So, we need to close the candle above the yellow stepping line. The blue line needs to be above the white line. The white line needs to be pointing upwards. And yes, blue and yellow should turn into green. And that would be a quadruple confirmation to take that trade. Of course, the resistance is here at a 60K level and then 63K and then 65K. This is all short-term volatility, guys. And we could even drop to the support level of 56K over here, which is the ultimate level of support before we continue. But at the moment, we are still creating a low, high, higher low, higher high, higher low, we should be able to create a higher high somewhere in between this yellow area that would be amazing short term for a trade, guys. Now, if we zoom out to the day channel, we can see that we are moving down below the 200 day moving average, which is that red line. We are down below that red line. We should be moving above that red line during a bull market. That would be the positive move. So this moment, this is resistance. We can also see the blue line crossing that green line again, you see that's a bearish moving, and when you cross above it, that's a bullish moving, always lagging behind a little bit. But now we need to be able to crawl back above that red line, and then above the yellow line. That would be very, very positive. We don't want that yellow line and that red line to cross. That is not like very positive, guys. We can cross for a minute, but then we need to go above it again, because else we will see a lot of bearishness. So for me, the important part is that we close candles above 62K as soon as possible to become more bullish again. But we can see the MACD decreasing, should be turning green. The blue line should be 
crossing that red line. We touched again that yellow line. I've talked about that yellow line many times. Every time I told you, when we touch that yellow line with that blue line, buy. That is the moment you need to buy Bitcoin. Because these moments don't happen often in the history of Bitcoin. And when they happen, every time you're making profit. Here, profit. Here, profit. That yellow line is there to buy Bitcoin and to be able to take profit later, guys. I hope you really enjoyed those charts. If you enjoyed those charts, then give this video already a thumbs up by now and share it also with your friends and family. And um, yes, short term, beautiful volatility trade, long term, zooming out, looking at the bigger picture. Yes, October, November, December will be positive months. So let's focus on those months. Enjoy your life in a hammock, at a pool, on a beach, wherever you are on your holiday now. Don't focus on the charts because we know August, September won't be the best months. October, November, December, we wake up again and we start to smile of all the bullishness that we will see in that market over there. Now let's quickly jump into the last part of the video, the inspirational part. The inspirational part, guys, comes from something that I experienced yesterday because I learned my lesson in the last eight years of traveling, that you should focus on those people that bring you positivity. Also on those people that don't live in fear. Also on those people that are living a creative lifestyle. Also on those people that are digital nomads. Also on those people that dare to live and step outside of the box. The moment you surround you with those other people, those who live in fear, who live inside the box, who do whatever the government tells them to do, etc. If you surround yourself with those people, you will become those people. You won't achieve that freedom, happiness, lifestyle that you want to achieve. And yesterday I posted a valid question in this group, in this Facebook group here, in Dutch speaking people in Hafea, Dania area. And I just asked, hey guys, if you drive a motorbike without a motorbike license, what will the fine be? Because I am prepared to pay a fine if my daughter drives the bike and I know she can drive a bike pretty well, so I trust her to drive that bike. But I just want to know what the fine was. Now, all the Dutch people living in Spain, so escaping Holland, living here in Spain, are all in that group. And they all still had that Dutch mindset. They all were very negative. You cannot do that. You can't let your children drive a motorbike. She's only 19 years old. If she doesn't have a driving license and she causes an accident, blah, 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 blah. You know, all that fear, all that living in that hamster wheel. So you escape the Netherlands to continue living in fear now in Spain. That's not what we choose as the Bitcoin family. We choose a complete different lifestyle. And I just asked the question. I'm not saying we're going to do it. I'm just asking, guys. I'm considering to do it. So what will that fine be? Is that fine 50 euros? Is that fine 200 euros? Is that fine life sentence? Some people commented, you had three to six years imprisonment in Spain if you drive without a license. I just want to know that answer. I didn't want to have any criticizing. I didn't want any of your stupid answers on like, nye, 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 nye. like that's what the traditional Dutch mostly do. They mostly complain, they're mostly negative, they mostly are living in fear. And I thought that those people that would escape the Netherlands and live in Spain, that they would also live here in freedom. But here they live still in fear. So for me, it's very important to be surrounded by those people that don't live in fear. That is why I love to spend time in Phuket, Thailand. My whole community over there doesn't live in fear. They just live life to the fullest while they do their best to improve the world into a decentralized world, to support poor people, to improve projects, all of that stuff while they just lived life without fear. Or you can do what you want without having all those people telling you constantly, oh, watch out, be prepared, oh, be aware. Oh, that's like illegal. Oh, that's like difficult. Oh no, you need to step inside the box. Come back in, inside this small box. You need to live in the box. Live in the box. Please don't step outside the box. Live in this small box. Stay as tiny as we are because we are afraid to step outside the box. So you can't do that. Please be like us, step inside of the box. So we are completely different. We don't live in a box. We live outside of the box. We've been living outside of the box for eight years and we will never step back into the box. So by now, yesterday again, I got confronted by that group in social media, Facebook, that yes, even Dutch people living in Spain are still living often inside that box in fear. So that is my wisest lesson for you guys today. If you want to live a complete freedom lifestyle, and you want to feel internally happy, 
by doing what your gut feeling tells you, then you should just step outside the box and live that life that you want to live. And sometimes, yes, you need to do something that is not allowed. That's why rules are invented, to sometimes break those rules. And then I will do my contribution to the tax company in Spain by paying a fine, and then the cause of that fine they can pay their police officers and etc. again. But I am prepared to accept my punishment. I just wanted to have an answer to the question, do you get fined or do you don't you get fined? Do you have experience? Did you ever had a fine? And I believe that people would be able to just give a normal answer to that question. Apparently they didn't and they couldn't and I started to, of course, comment back a little bit. Come on guys, give me a true answer. And, and then my threat was closed. I was removed from the group. Uh, yes, that's a very centralized group. I was kicked out of a Facebook group. I looked at my wife and I said, yes, I still got it. I'm still living outside the box and I don't want to start live inside that Facebook box of the Dutch people here in <laughs> Café. Yeah. I'm not like that and I'm not saying that all the Dutch people are like that, but those people in that box in that Facebook group over there, that small group, uh, yeah, they live uh, mainly inside the, that box of fear, guys. So my lesson for today, don't live in fear. Grab life by the balls, live life to the fullest. Zoom out in Bitcoin, look at the bigger picture, zoom in at life, enjoy every single minute of the day the way you want to enjoy your life. Not the way others tell you to enjoy your life. Not the way the government tells you to live your life. Not the way the schools tell you to live the life. Not the way your parents tell you to live the way you want to live your life. That is the only thing that counts. Thank you for watching today. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about the charts, about the tips, about me being kicked out of a Facebook group of Dutch people in Gafea? Let me know down below in the comments. Thanks for watching. I wish you an amazing day. And see you tomorrow again. Yes, tomorrow morning. Bam.